Evan Luthra is an inspirational speaker who believes in coming up with original ideas and turning them into digital businesses that are both innovative and profitable. So at 26 year old, uh, he already has an impressive resume and career history. And with me is Evan Luther. So Evan, great to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So um, I was fascinated looking at your website, kind of set the stage for me. I mean, you're still very young. How did you build this brand? What gave you the idea? Um, I started pretty early. Uh, never really planned to do what I'm doing right now. I was always about thinking about doing what I'm passionate about, you know, and I started building mobile apps at a pretty young age and one thing led to another. So it was never really, hey, I want to build this brand. I want, I want to make this happen. It was always about how I can add value to people, you know, so the focus was always on building something that adds value to other people and at the same time doing things that I enjoy. Um, I mean, I, start, I, start, I built my first set when I was 13 years old. So at that point, I was not trying to make money. I was not trying to, you know, I was always doing something which I enjoyed and I was enjoying that task. And today, here we are having an incubator that has successfully built and invested in multiple companies. Yes. So I, I want to talk about the incubator, but it, just real quick, I want to say something that I noticed about you and your website and kind of doing a little research on you is that you kind of gave back to people. And in return, you guys, seems like you got a lot more. You got businesses, you got contacts, you got a lot of interesting experiences. So that's uh, that's very cool. So let's talk about your incubator. Um, tell me about it. What kind of companies are you investing in? Um, just elaborate on that a little bit. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, uh, but the incubator started after my friends. The first company that we actually built and invested in is Ease.com. It's Ease, uh, Uber for marijuana. It ended up uh, going from, I invested, it was about $5 million. This was the time when I was in San Francisco in 2014. And that's when I set up my incubator startup studio. We work with non-tech entrepreneurs with great ideas, but they lack either a technical skill set or mostly and some marketing skill set to bring an idea to market. And if we like it, we don't just invest money in them. We give them money, but more so where we give them resources and our support. And we build companies with them from the ground up. Mm -hmm. And this model proved to be really well. I mean, today we have built and invested in over 100 companies that I own equity in. And the combined market cap of the companies that we've built and invested in excess of $10 billion. And we have tens of millions of users across two dozen plus countries. And the best part is you're working on cutting edge stuff. So you're always working on something that's that's going to decide the future that we live in. You know, And that brings me to my uh, number one quote in life that is the best way to predict the future is to go build it. I go into all different kinds of industries that I'm passionate about. Uh, and the main the main one is blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Uh, my goal in life is always to use technology to go and disrupt everything. So we go into various industries and we use technology to disrupt it. Today, I feel blockchain provides that opportunity of, of almost what the same the internet provided uh, two decades ago, right? And now it has the true potential to disrupt how we do everything, how we play, how we earn, how we live, you know, uh, how we entertain ourselves. Blockchain has a way to make everything more efficient and better for people. So I think there's true potential in that. And it's very exciting to be in the space. Yeah, no, I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about that because I'm in agreement. I think the more I learned about the technology, how it could apply to so many different industries, how it really democratizes things and can bring opportunities to people that never have had that before. Um, just the way governments were structured or financial systems were structured, blockchain disrupts all of that and can really, I mean, in a generation, can really change how the whole world is kind of organized. Don't you agree? Hundred percent. I think. I think that the, the, to me, blockchain. The most exciting part about it is that it gives power back to the people. You know, there's finally a way to give power back to the people. Block. What blockchain really enables for us is decentralization and distribution. Right. That's the most exciting part about Bitcoin. Gave us the idea of decentralization and distribution. There's finally a way for people to distribute governance and to have this um, this society to build a society where everybody benefits you know it's 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 built in a way to benefit the the, the public good and uh, to give you an idea where i see the world moving is that i see the world moving towards complete tokenization right we're going to see all kinds of businesses industries organizations tokenized and then governed and then the benefits and the profits of that organization being distributed all through the blockchain. I don't know if I'll be around when all this is implemented, but I would love to see the impact of blockchain on poverty and crime and world trade and things like that. Like, I, I just feel like there's really some huge changes coming in. I think, 
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to say that. You look very young, by the way, so I think you would definitely be around. <laughs> it's going to just come because we, what most people also forget that technology grows exponentially. Technology yeah. doesn't grow linearly. So the changes that took 10 years to come, twice the amount of changes will come in the next two years. And most people underestimate what technology can do in 10 years and overestimate what technology can do in two years. Mm -hmm. So you want, you want to think about these facts because technology is growing very fast. You have the leverage of technology working for you, the leverage of code, where you build a product once and of 7 billion people can use it. You know, So uh, definitely, I think that these, these technologies come in our time. Obviously, the impact will be seen in first in finance. That's why I say decentralized finance, because finance drives the world. The second big impact of this will be seen in gaming, entertainment. And that's what we're seeing right now in the crypto industry. When you speak to these groups, what do you say um, are the big, your big secrets to success? Uh, my, so the, my three biggest secrets to success, what will come down is persistence. You've got to be persistent in what you're doing. You know? You've got to keep moving forward in faces of all obstacles. You cannot give up because that's when you really are going to come close to the goal. So be persistent in whatever comes your way. You can, you can copy that away in the markets when if there's a dips, don't sell, huddle on, keep going. That's, that's the goal, you know, to the moon. The vision should always be to the moon. That comes to my second, um, second point is vision. You gotta have big ideas, right? You gotta, you gotta dream big. So if you have big ideas, if you aim for the moon and you miss, you'll hit a star. So you gotta dream big in this space and there's a lot of potential to be able to dream big. There are so many problems that could be fixed. There's a lot of opportunities. And that's what it was the second one is you gotta have a big vision. The more I travel, the more I spread that message. And you know, for me, that's how I give back to people is to spread this message and get people in the space. And um, I, 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 never, I, never, I never let obstacles come in my way. Evan, fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. No, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Jane. Thank you so much for having me. Anybody watching this, if you want to reach out, feel free to reach out to me on evan at evanluther.com.